Howdy folks, Andy Gamer Muzzer here, and we're putting together a video of all the log files from the generation ships at uh, Lycaon, Venusian, Thetis, uh, Hyperion, and uh, Odysseus. So let's crack on. First up is the Lycaon files. Nothing out of the ordinary to report. Minor injuries, aches and pains from the more vulnerable crew members and the usual bout of influenza you'd expect with so many people living in such close confines. It seems the current strain of influenza is becoming resistant to the vaccines we've developed on board. Only thing of note was a minor injury to one of the survey team. Gottlieb sustained a minor laceration. He was taking a mineral sample on a nearby asteroid. The suit got braged, but he managed to apply an emergency seal before anything serious happened. I only hope the sample he took was worth the scar it's gonna leave. Decisions log 2387-8. We have an emergency. The strain of influenza infecting the ship has become completely resistant to any vaccines or treatment we can find. 13% of the ship's population has now succumbed to the infection and so far, 8 have died. I've initiated emergency measures in quarantining the infected. The epidemiologist, Dr. Monroe, is working around the clock to find a solution. I'm sure she'll come up with a cure before long. Physicians Log 2463-5 Dr. Monroe made a discovery that has filled me with dread. This contagion doesn't derive from the influenza epidemic. It's altogether more alien than that. The contaminant has no human origin. It comes from Gottlieb, the scientist who was injured a few days ago. Whatever mineral he was taking a sample of must have got into his blood. It's mutated into some kind of virulent pathogen. Monroe is unable to isolate the microorganism that's causing it. It spreads. Fast. Quarantine hasn't worked and people are starting to panic. We're doing our best to come up with a counteragent, but I'm not sure we have the resources. Precisions Log 2499-9. We are lost. Monroe died two days ago, and any chance we had of finding a cure for this epidemic died with her. Half the ship's population is already dead, and 98% of those remaining are infected. Teams are working around the clock to vent the bodies into space, but they're piling up so quickly. The riots haven't helped. People are panicking, angry, don't know what to do. When you see your family die, I guess you just get desperate. I don't know what to do. Suppose I should do my job, but it's no use. At least I've avoided an infection. For now. Physicians log 2501-7. I knew I wasn't going to avoid contracting this thing forever. I'm one of... one of the last. This place is so quiet now. Used to team with life, and now... Now there's just silence along the empty corridors. I should probably go for one last walk. While I still can. Right, so that was the uh, Lycaon logs. We're now going to move on to the Venusian logs. This is Officer Gant. I know I haven't made many of these logs. I haven't needed to, but recent events mean I have to open a record. The Venusian has been travelling for months now without incident, other than the usual canteen disputes and a couple of bar fights. 
Recently, though, sensors have picked up a number of heat signals, though no sign of any actual ships. That is, until today. Two small ships of unknown designation were briefly caught on sensors until they initiated supercruise and disappeared. We don't know where they've come from or where they've gone, and attempts to hail them were met with silence. The XO Deacon thinks it's nothing to worry about, but I've got to admit I'm nervous. Anyway, we're keeping an eye out, and the comms team are on high alert. Maybe it's nothing. They came out of a gas nebula, a pirate fleet, all manner of ships, and some of them highly modified. Every single one was red, though. Blood red. Our auto defenses were useless, and the raiders breached the hull with mining lasers. By the time they got inside, I'd managed to rustle up a decent defense force, but we couldn't stop them spreading through the decks. The fighting was fierce at first, and we put up a good resistance, but when the best of our crew were cut down, there was nothing the rest of us could do. All I could do was initiate a rearguard action while we tried to save as many people as we could. Deacon managed to rally some troops, and we pushed them back long enough to retreat to aft. Not sure how much longer we're going to last. Deacon keeps talking about a parlay, but these, these are pirates on a slave hunt. They won't stop until we're all dead or in chains. Frankly, I take death over slavery any day. to my last dozen men and about the same in cells for my carbine. Got around a hundred civilians relying on us and we'll fight till the last man to defend them. Deacon's disappeared. Either fled or captured, I don't know which. I can only hope he'd managed to escape somehow and has gone to get help from somewhere. Anywhere. I'm kidding myself. We're done for. It's just a matter of time before they breach our defences. No matter. I'll fight till the last. It won't take me alive. Our barricade's been breached! We're under heavy fire, it won't be long! Deacon! Oh, it was Deacon who did this! He showed the pirates how to breach our defences, gave them access to the maintenance tunnels. They'd never have found them without Deacon's help. Come in a hail! If I can manage to return fire long enough, maybe I can get a bead on Deacon. Just one shot is all I need to take out that son of a... So, that was uh, the Venusian logs. And now we're on to the Thetis logs. Still all quiet out here in the black. Just had our very first ninth gen child born on ship. That takes the current population to 17,401. Other than that, nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, apart from reports from some residents at the northern end of Sea Deck, they've heard some kind of strange whispering sound coming from their apartment comms unit. I'm sure it's nothing, but I've dispatched a member of tech to investigate. We have an emergency situation on board. Some kind of epidemic, it's driving people insane. I've managed to source it to a digital signal that keeps broadcasting within the comms array. It started on Sea Deck, but now the entire population of Deck C to F have been massacred. They just went crazy and started killing each other. I've isolated the signal, so it stopped for now. Just trying to identify the source. It should be easy enough to delete the beacon if I can find the right frequency. I want to know what the message says, but I'm... I'm just too scared to listen. I've done it. I've managed to decrypt the signal and identify the source. But it's even more confusing than I thought. The signal originates from an uninhabited planet we passed 15 light years ago. Who sent it, and how it managed to infect the comms array, I have no idea. That's the good news. The bad news is... I heard the message. 
I was trying to run it through the translator and uh, I forgot the speaker was on. It's the same message relayed again and again and again. It's more a whisper than anything else. It says, kill them all. Blood. Blood everywhere. It's spread on the walls. People have started writing words in it, but it's a script I can't identify. I'm alone now on the comms deck. Pearson was the last one with me, but I had to stab him in the throat to stop him. Stop him. I can't remember what I had to stop him doing, but... He's dead now. I can hear people out there. Some of them are still walking around. Some of them are barely breathing. I have to find them. I have to silence them. I have to... So that was the uh, logs from Thetis. Uh, now time for the logs from Hyperion. Our voyage continues apace, all systems fully operational. Uh, we had some issues with the hydroponics units, but maintenance has managed to solve that problem. And the only other thing to report is the religious fervor that seems to be gripping some sections of crew and passengers. Apparently, there's this boy. I think he's around 10 or something. And people are heralding him as the second coming. There's a rumor he can perform miracles, but it's obviously only a story. Commander Jefferson wasn't too impressed when he heard, but I managed to calm him down. Told him it was good for people to have something to believe in, especially on a voyage like this one. The situation is becoming critical. Support for the child, they're just calling him Zachariah, has developed into some sort of mass hysteria. They're hailing him as a kind of messiah. Over half the ship's population now thinks this boy is going to deliver them to the promised land. Jefferson has tried talking to his acolytes, but they no longer recognize the commander as the main authority figure on the ship. It wouldn't be so bad, but there are whispers of weird ceremonies, and people have started to go missing. I don't know what Jefferson's next move is, but he needs to do it quick if we're going to regain order. We have an emergency situation. Commander Jefferson is... He, he's dead. They killed him. An offering, they called it. He went with a security team to break up one of their gatherings and take Zachariah into custody when they just turned on him. The kid refused to go and ordered the security team to throw Jefferson out of the airlock. I can't believe they did it. It's like he has some kind of power. I, I've never seen anything like it. There's only me and a few others who don't follow him now, but it's safer if we just go along with these religious fanatics until they find their promised land and I can ditch them. I don't want to be the next one getting vented. I don't have much time. He's going to kill everyone, and I have to stop him. Turns out, Zechariah's promised land isn't a fertile planet. It's the cold vacuum of space. He intends to open up every airlock on the ship and vent all the corridors and containment units. He just proclaimed it to the entire ship in that little voice of his. Everyone seems to be going along with it, thinking it'll take them to a higher plane or some garbage. Am I the only one here still sane? Because it sure feels like it. I have to stop him. I got a loaded carbine and I'm not going to let anyone get in my way. I just hope I'm in time. Agent systems message. 
system report. Life support. Countermand requested at 0943. Manual override granted on all airlocks. Forward ship purge initiated at 0952. Purge complete. Purge complete. Purge complete. Purge complete. <coughs> So that was the uh, Hyperion logs, and we're now going on to the Odysseus logs. Order! Order! I will have order in the house! It is decided then. The mission is changed. We, the elected council of the Odysseus, decree that all members of the crew remain on board, and all resources for the ill-conceived planetary colonization mission are to be reallocated to enable the Odysseus to sustain us. Order! Order! Any and all attempts to leave the ship question the Council or otherwise reinstate the previous mission parameters is to be considered a capital offense for the greater good. Why would we leave the safety of our ship for the unknown of an alien world? We have everything we need here. No one goes without. We have sustainable food, water, medical supplies, and power sources for all on board. This is our Eden, not some dust ball hurtling through the vacuum of space. It makes no sense to leave. Besides, we have no idea what we would find on these worlds. If we'd survive, if we'd be able to find food or water, there could be anything out there. The ship's council makes the law, and they were right all those years ago. That's why we elected them after all. The Odysseus is our home, and this is where we stay. For the greater good. It's been years since we've dealt with something like this, and to be honest, I'm not sure we can cope anymore. Sickness has taken hold. Detected it too late. By the time we knew what it was, half the ship was infected. Rings A and C are no go areas, even for medical staff, council orders. So many areas have quarantined off now, we're cut off from some of the ship's key systems. We should have been better prepared. It's not the first outbreak we've had. Back in my dad's day, an epidemic flooded the ship after a meteor storm. There were riots and people getting sick, but we got through it. We rebuilt the farms, people got medicine and recovered. This, this is different. The council has initiated martial law. The ship's under curfew and anyone found to be infected is locked up in the quarantine zones. They say it's for the greater good. I don't know anymore. just gave the order. Someone flicked a switch and they vented it all. Ring A, C, the med base, the holding base, all of it. Anywhere there was a sign of infection, hundreds of people sucked out into space. Hundreds more suffocated with no air. For the greater good. We were raised to believe that the will of the council is absolute. They govern they rule for all of us. But this? There's talk of a movement to remove the council. They want to get off the ship to leave at the next habitable world. After all these years, none of us have any memory of anything but the Odysseus. It's a dream. We wouldn't know what to do if we got planet side. I'm fifth generation. 
Federation. All I know is the ship, the council, the laws. And I know that going down to an unknown planet would likely be the death of us all. Besides, it will never happen. The council won't allow it. There is only one way off this ship. They thought they had eradicated it. We all thought they had. We fought for the greater good. We existed here for the greater good. We mourned the lost ones for the greater good. Council made peace for the greater good. We exist. We remember. We mourn. All for the greater good. Twenty years we have existed. But you can't kill this. It hides. It retreats and mutates and comes at you again. The same, but different. Stronger, more deadly. Now there is nothing left. No people, no council, no laws. Only the sickness. I record this as a warning. Do not board this ship. It is dead. Mourn those lost and remember, but do not set foot on board this ship. For the greater good, greater good, greater good, greater And there you go. That was the... Uh logs of the odysseus so that's them that's them all uh all in one place for you to uh listen to at your leisure thanks guys catch you later and again was a uh, elite dangerous signing out like share subscribe leave your comments underneath subscribe at the logo up there and see any other videos in the elite dangerous playlist hit the button over there Bye bye